Welcome back to another video. We are in the open Great Lake here, checking out a different team. We're going to be featuring the Haxorus, Shadow Charizard, and L Reggie Steel here. Um, we start out with the Haxorus because we want to um, basically try to win the lead. Um, we are going to be able to win CMP against most of the things here. here so here, because um, uh, we debuffed our opponent's Medichan, we come in with our Reggie Steel. Then our opponent is forced to switch out. We get the first zap cannon off. The first the first zap cannon does not debuff the, the lantern, so that's a little bit of an unfortunate situation. But the second one does get the debuff and it gets the shield. So job well done by this uh Reggie Steel. And now we just let all this go. So this Haxorus is probably looking to come back in here because we're gonna be resisting the uh sparks. But are we gonna be able to survive a potential thunderbolt we decide that we are not so we do shield and try to farm down and that is exactly what happens here uh Haxorus has um high attack so we win the cmp versus this uh medicham we actually get the last shield right there so job well done by this Haxorus. we're gonna let it go we force them out we force uh th the switch out our opponent ends up revealing that they have the liquid tongue in the back so liquid tongue in the back um hopefully with the shield advantage is enough. We do have two blast burns here. First blast burn goes off, doesn't quite KO. Oh, but they actually have a move right when um, we throw that move. So unfortunate for us, barely lose that game. Um, ideally, maybe we should have taken out that Lickitung. Um, with with a extra, we had the Dragon Claw ready too, so. Um, unfortunate. So next game here, we're gonna stay in because uh, this is a Shadow Latios. Shadow Latios here is quite spicy. We do get the first shield, and then we know that we don't have to shield any single moves from the Shadow Latios. So we decided to um, come in with our Reggie still making them make a decision: Are they gonna switch out, or are they just gonna throw all this energy at this Reggie still, which is resisting it, by the way? Um, in addition to the debuff that we had. So we decided to throw the Focus Blast whenever we have it. And then now they decided to come in with their Tentacruel. So Tentacruel here, not great for our Charizard. So we're going to stay in. We do get the last shield, which is fantastic. And now we have decided, are we going to shield here? We do a shield, it ends up being the Acid Spray. So not the move that we want to shield. Here we are um, going to shield this next one here. This is going to be the Scold. The Scold uh, probably would have taken us out. So now we're going to go in with this uh, Zap Cannon. We do take out the Tentacruel. So now we're just going to make sure we build up to a move and then we go up to our Charizard. This Charizard ends up tanking a um, Sky Attack, but not before we get to our own Blast Burn. This Blast Burn is going to Barely not take out the knocked out, but the ensuing wing attacks does take it out. So they had to farm down because we also had a move on our Reggie Steel. So um, that was perfectly done by us right there. And GG's. Next game here. Let's find out what we see. We are going to be met with the Quagsire. Um, against the Haxorus, we should be okay. We're going to be throwing the Breaking Swipe. This Breaking Swipe is going to be able to go off first. Does, I don't know, 20%. 15% damage. The Mud Bomb here, even though debuff takes roughly 50% uh, of our health, so that was not good. Uh, we decide to let it go uh, because we want energy on our Shadow um, Charizard. Here, we don't think that this is the Stone Edge. We don't think that they got enough energy, so no shield right there. And then they reveal that they have their own Talon Flame. So here, we're going to have to... Make sure we take out this Talon Flame because we do not want this Talon Flame to be paired up with our Reggie. So this is an easy shield here, even if it's a Flame Charge. Uh, luckily, because we are a Shadow Charizard, we can just pretty much just throw Dragon Claws. So we go Dragon Claws. This next Dragon Claw gets their last shield. But because uh, we are able to get to a, the fourth Dragon Claw, we are able to take out this Talon Flame no problem. So we immediately switch out into our Reggie Steel, and we have a shield advantage. So we're going to shield just to preserve the health of the Reggie Steel, and we're gonna to get to our first Zap Cannon here. 
This is roughly 50% damage, but we're looking for the debuff. No debuff. But we do we do we do a huge amount of damage. So if this is dynamic punch, we lose. It ends up being the psychic. We survive. And we are able to get to another zap cannon here. So GG's to our opponent right there. Um the Reggie still with one shield clutching it up against the Medichamp. Um we did get a little bit lucky that the Psychic didn't debuff, so that would have probably changed a little bit. They could have uh, been close to uh, farming us down, but luckily for us, that did not happen. So here, kind of a weird matchup. Both of us are not doing super effective fast moves, uh, but we are able to get to this first breaking swipe, which is going to debuff their charge move here. We got to decide, we're going to shield here or we're going to let it go. We decided to shield the Shadow Ball because Haxorus is not very tanky. So we are down to shield, but then we force our opponent to switch out. We go into our shadow Charizard. We bait. We do get the shield, which is fantastic. And here we got to decide if we want to shield or not. We decided to let it go uh, because we do have this Registeel. Um, this Registeel is looking to just gain a ton of energy. Essentially, we want energy on uh, on this Registeel after we beat this Ninetales so we can potentially... Um, throw moves at that Jellicent. So we already thinking of ahead. That's why we're going to undercharge here. We actually get the shield. So very interesting. And they actually end up switching into their Jellicent. So maybe they think that they have two counters to the Reggie in the back. Let's find out. First Shadow Ball goes through, takes up the Haxorus, which is uh, fine. And now we're looking for the farm down, which is exactly what we do. Oh... It ends up being the Obstagoon here. So this is going to kill this Obstagoon five times, probably double weak to fighting there. So GG's to our opponent right there. Reggie still coming in clutch in the back again. Um, so next game here, let's see if we can end off on a really good note. Haxorus versus the Altaria. So both of us are dragons here. They are doing the super effective dragon breaths with their fashions, uh, but we get to this breaking swipe faster. So... Same thing here. I think we're going to decide to stay in. We do get a shield, so that's fantastic. We come in with our Reggie. We don't have to worry about any moves that this Altaria is going to throw. Um, plus, it's debuff, so it's going to it's going to be even better. Um, curious that our opponent is staying in. Maybe they're also double weak to Reggie still in the back. So, double shield right here already puts in my mind they have, they have some kind of water type. Maybe a Zumarill. And that's why they're not switching out. Um, not exactly sure. So, here we're going to let this next Sky Attack go. And we're going to try to build to 100. Then we throw this Zap Cannon. This Zap Cannon ends up taking out the Altera, which is great. And then we switch in. And they they reveal that they are double weak to register in the bag. Especially with Azumarill and Cresselia. So, uh, at this point, we're just going to switch into our Charizard and do as much damage as possible. Um, even though we are taking super effective fast moves, we are able to get to these blast burns to do huge damage. Two blast burns ends up taking out that Azumarill. And now it's a race. Can we get to that blast burn? We do not. So we're going to have to spend one shield just to get this blast burn off. Because that's going to be huge damage um, that we don't have to do with our Reggie. And that's exactly what happens. We don't have to worry about any moves here. Grass Knot is resisted. They're, they're going to need to get to at least um, two more Grass Knots. Or at least one Grass Knot and some Psycho Cuts. But luckily for us, we are able to get to a move. So G2's to our opponent right there. Check out this team if you haven't already. And let us know if you enjoyed the video.